In this video, we'll talk about switching off. Fighting insomnia is an uphill battle. When you are trying to cure insomnia, you are actually trying to stop your own mind from being too active at night. There's no reason to be afraid of staying up for countless nights in a row and wondering if this is all going to end. Worrying will only bring about sleepless nights. So, stop battling insomnia in your head. All that you need to do is switch off your monkey brain. At night, you want your own mind to slow down to the point where you can easily fall asleep. Even if someone is not suffering from insomnia, they still might want to know what they can do in order to have better control of themselves and fall asleep whenever they want to. The truth is, having a proper amount of sleep not only helps you to be fully alert the next day, but it also helps the person to rest at night. One of the reasons why people struggle to fall asleep is that once they lay down in bed, they will start to think about their day and life in general. More often than not, they start thinking about useless things that serve no purpose but only hinder them from falling asleep. Switching off definitely needs practice. For many busy adults, the only time they actually have to reflect upon their lives and what they're doing is during bedtime. While it's not a big deal to reflect, don't do it during bedtime. Oftentimes, this is the biggest culprit that stops you from falling asleep. So for those who want to reflect on their lives, consider waking up earlier to have time in the morning to do so, or even schedule some time in the evening to do some reflection. Another reason why people fail to switch off is that they have many activities at night that are overstimulating, causing them to stay awake instead of feeling tired. Some even love to have caffeine at night as a routine. No wonder why people are struggling to fall asleep. So, stay away from coffee, from your mobile phones, laptops, televisions when it's bedtime. Avoid activities that force you to think and require physical exertion at night. And most importantly, avoid blue screen from electronic devices. Another key to falling asleep is to schedule your sleep. Most people don't do that. Instead, they choose to fall asleep only when they're tired. But what they should do instead is to set up their own routine and schedule their bedtime. Upon repetition, your mind will be conditioned to switch off when the clock hits the usual hour to fall asleep. Schedule and set a routine and make sure that falling asleep is a habit. How you schedule your evening till bedtime varies. And there are many ways to do it. And there won't be a one-size-fits-all solution, but the general rule of thumb is the same. How to switch off at night. The first thing you should do after you have eaten dinner and cleaned up for the night is turn off any of your electronic devices. Having your phone or computer switched on when you are getting ready for bed will stimulate your brain and it will eventually hinder your sleep. Admit it. Your electronic devices are addictive and you won't know when to stop. The light by itself will interfere with your sleep pattern and cause you to stay wide awake. So, when it's one or two hours before bedtime, avoid your gadgets at all costs if you want to have a restful sleep. Reading before sleep is fine, but not through your electronic devices. Reading a physical book as a hobby before bed actually helps you in getting ready to sleep. Also, it's better not to read in your bedroom. You're encouraged to read in another room since you do not want your mind to be active in the room that you need to fall asleep in. Again, to condition your mind to switch off the moment you step into your bedroom. If you are able to completely relax when reading a book, then it's fine to go through and read a book while laying down in bed. Otherwise, try to do it only in another room. The next thing you can do is listen to music and write down any kind of reminders that you will need for the next day. The music by itself will help for you to calm your mind and clear your stresses away. Try to listen to music that is smoother and slower in rhythm. Listening to anything that is loud or exciting will stimulate the mind and it will be harder for you to get to sleep at that point. For example, you will find yourself in a much relaxed state when you listen to classical music than rock music. Another tip is to plan your days ahead before sleep. Writing down reminders for the next day helps to clear out your mind since you will stop thinking about every single detail that you need to remember the next day. 
Staying awake in bed while constantly reminding yourself that you need to remember something will keep your mind active. Think of your notepad as a dumb it and forget it vault. Simply grabbing a piece of paper and scribbling down a few notes will definitely help you calm down faster and get some rest in return. Another thing that you can do is have a relaxation drink such as tea right before bed. However, make sure you stay away from caffeine, alcohol, and drinks with a high amount of sugar. A nice cup of tea can calm your mind and help your body to relax. This is also a great way to create time for yourself, a time to quiet down and relax. You can do this while either reading or listening to music. If you don't find pleasure in drinking tea, then consider having a light snack before bed. Do not consume anything that is too high in calorie and difficult to digest. Regardless, a light snack is good because sometimes the reason why you're having trouble getting to sleep is simply because of hunger. The last thing you can do is bring down your room temperature. The best way to do this is to set your bedroom thermostat to be a bit cooler. Our body is conditioned in a way that when it enters a cooler environment, it will get a signal that it's time to rest. Also, why not take a quick shower right before bed, preferably a cold shower to immediately cool down. Otherwise, you can try to get a bed fan, a cooler mattress, or go for a short walk before bed. All of the things mentioned can be part of your own personal bedtime routine. Go ahead and try them and figure out what works best for you and your schedule. In no time at all, you won't have any trouble falling asleep and staying asleep. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.